This is another question from the Morris Mano book. Let's solve this. So a new flip flop is given to you. A PN flip flop has four operations. There are four operations. What are those? Clear to zero, no change, complement, and set to one. When P and N are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, respectively, we have to create the characteristic table of this PN flip flop, also characteristic equation, excitation table, and also we have to create this PN flip flop can be converted to D flip flop. So all these things we have to do. Can you take out your copy pen? Okay. Is your copy pen out? Take out your copy pen and do it. Let's do it parallelly. Okay. I'm also doing it. You also do it. Very simple. So this PN flip flop is given to you. First, you understand this PN flip flop. This PN flip flop is given to you. Let's understand this. This PN flip flop, what this is saying. So this is P, this is N. And the question is saying that this is the characteristic table. This PN flip flop has four operations. When 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So when your PN is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if PN is 0, 0, then it will clear to 0. Means this is reset. When PN is 0, 1. <clears throat> when PN is 0, 1, then no change. When PN is 0, 1, then no change. No change. And when PN is 0, 1, 0, then complement. Then toggle. Then toggle. And when PN is 1, 1, then set to 1 then set can you notice this question we have already seen please tell me have we seen this this pn flip-flop have we seen this reset no change this is actually your ab flip-flop just now we have seen this question just now we have seen this is your ab flip-flop if you notice this pn flip-flop is nothing but your ab flip-flop this is your ab flip-flop in the previous question this flip, this PN flip flop is same as AB flip flop of the previous question. Is the same as this is same as AB flip flop of previous question. So finally, okay, and you already know that this PN flip flop, this is same as AB flip flop of your previous question. This P is same as A and this N is same as B. And this is same as J and this was same as K bar. So in this question, if you solve, then P will be same as J and Q will be same as K bar. You can solve this question, remember. Okay, if you don't, if you, uh, let's, let's solve this question. You can solve this question. So first the question is asking characteristic table. So this is the characteristic table. So we got the characteristic table. Yes or no? So this characteristic table we got. This characteristic table we got. This table we got. Now, what is what the question is asking? Characteristic equation. So let's find out the truth table. Let's find out the truth table. The truth table of P and flip flop. Okay, so the truth table of P and flip flop, what that will be? That will be this. This will be the truth table of P and flip flop. Zero, zero. So when both are zero, zero, then what is what will be the output? In the PN flip flop, so in the PN flip flop, when both are zero zero, then this is reset. When both are zero zero, when PN, when, then this is reset. This is a reset. Okay, the question itself is telling you that when they are okay, when P comma N are zero zero, when P is zero, Q and Q is zero. When both are zero zero, then this is reset. Next, when when PN are 0, 1, then no change. When PN are 0, 1, then no change. When PN, they are 0, 1. Here, P, uh, here PN is 0, 1. Here PN is 0, 1. Then there is no change. There is no change. No change. And finally, when they are 1, 0, then toggle. When they are 1, 0, then toggle. When this PN is 1, 0, then toggle. And when they are one, one, if they are one, one, then, then set, then set. Now, can you find the characteristic equation? This equation, can you find the characteristic equation? Let's find out the characteristic equation. So basically this output, next output will be a function of P comma N comma Q. Okay. This is your next output. 
this is your next state so next state will be same as function of p comma n comma present state present state so what will be the equation that you will get find out the equation so the equation for next state that will be p n q this is the area for p this is the area for n this is the area for q so from here you can notice when you have one one you have here 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 means three four and six seven okay so zero one two two zero one two three four five six seven okay so this will be your characteristic equation uh, this will be your k map this is in the area of pq bar and this is in the area of this is in the area of qn so finally your equation will be what the next state will be pq bar or qn this will be the next state pq bar or qn can you create the excitation table the question is asking excitation table can you create that let's check it out excitation table let's find out excitation table of pn flip flop this pn flip flop let's find out the excitation table so excitation table is very easy okay means from q from this state you are going to this state then what is pn means if you are going from this state to this state if you are going from this state to this state you are going from this state to this state or this state to this state then what we need tell me if you are going from this state to this state then what are you doing if you are going from 0 to 0 then either you are retaining either you are retaining or you are resetting either you are retaining if you are going from 0 to 0 your present state is 0 next state is 0 then either you are retaining or you are resetting if you are going from 0 to 1 either you are toggling or you are setting if you are going from 1 to 0 then either you are toggling either you are toggling or you are resetting and if you are going from 1 to 1 then either you are setting or you are retaining correct or not okay so finally tell me if you are going from 0 to 0 then either you are retaining or you are resetting so reset here this is the reset in the pn flip flop this is the reset in the pn flip flop and what is retain in this pn flip flop in this pn flip flop the reset is 0 0 and retain is and retain is 0 1 retain is 0 1 so you can notice retain is 0 1 similarly tell me here okay toggle is what condition is toggle toggle is 1 0 this 1 0 is toggle and what is set set is 1 1 similarly here what is 1 to 0 what is toggle toggle is 1 0 and what is resetting resetting is 0 0 and then finally set set means 1 1 set means 1 1 and from 1 to 1 retain retain means 0 1 retain means 0 1 so from here the excitation table that you will get that is this is fixed 0 and this is okay 0 don't care so it will be 0 don't care next it will be 1 don't care next it will be don't care 0 and next it will be don't care 1 this will be the excitation table for p and flip flop okay zero don't care one don't care don't care zero don't care one this is the excitation table and finally the question is asking what the question is asking convert p n flip flop to d flip flop this is what the question is asking we have to convert p n flip flop to d flip flop this p n flip flop to d flip flop we have to convert then tell me what is given flip flop here what is the given flip flop this is the given flip flop and what is this is the desired flip flop this d flip flop is the desired flip flop okay so you have to convert this pn flip flop this is your pn flip flop this pn flip flop you have to convert into d flip flop into d flip flop so some combination circuit you will put here and then you will do like this okay so tell me what i have to do tell me what you need to do tell me what you need to do you have to write this p as a function of d comma q also you have to write this n as a function of d comma q isn't it tell me is this clear this p you have to write as a function of d comma q basically as a function of d comma q 
and this n you have to write as a function of d comma q very simple so tell me what will be the uh, how will you do this so this p we have to write as a function of d comma q and this n we have to write as a function of d comma q so how to do that very simple so you can find this dq so from this you have to find this p as a function of d comma q and this q as a this n as a function of d comma q so let's see so first i will write the truth table of d flip flop so what is the truth table of d flip flop 00011011 the truth table of d flip flop whatever is your input d that will be your next state your next state in the d flip flop in the next state is same as your input d whatever is your input d that will be your next state now how to find this p excitation table of p and flip flop how to do that excitation table of p and flip flop now i will use the excitation table of p and flip flop so tell me from 0 to 0 then what is this this pn what is this pn when you go from 0 to 0 when you go from 0 to 0 this pn is 0 and don't care this will be 0 and don't care when you go from 1 to 0 when you go from 1 to 0 then don't care 0 when you go from 1 to 0 then that will be don't care 0 when you go from 0 to 1 when you go from 0 to 1 that will be one don't care and when you go from 1 to 1 that is don't care one okay so now let's see what is the equation you can write so tell me now you can create the k map you this p you have to write as a function of d comma q so you can create the k map this is the k map you can create this is d this is q this is the area of d this is the area of q and similarly you can write n as a function of d comma q this n also you can write as a function of d comma q this is d this is q this is area of d this is area of q so now let's find out so this p P is zero. Don't care. One don't care. So it will be one don't care. Do, uh, sorry, uh, this will be don't care. One don't care. Okay, don't care. One don't care. And this will be don't care. Don't care. One. This will be don't care. Don't care. One. Okay. So here you can clearly see that here what will be your P from this diagram? What is P? This P will be same as D. P will be same as D. and this n this n this n also will be same as d so n is also same as d p is also same as d n and p they are same as d so very simple this p this is your p this is your n this is your q this is your q bar this d is also same as p and this n is also same as d okay so like this so this is your implementation is this clear to everyone tell me this is the implementation you can notice this is your d flip flop this is your d flip flop using p and flip flop is this question clear anyone has any doubt in this question in this question what we have done see this is the original question more from morris mano from this book morris mano this is the question a flip flop is given to you p and flip flop and everything is given the characteristic table is given to you in the question this characteristic table is given for the pn flip flop okay what will happen when pn is 0 0 pn is 0 1 pn is 1 0 pn is 1 1 what will happen in all these situations so that is given to you now what we have to find out we have to find out characteristic table this is the characteristic table this is the characteristic table so we can find the truth table also you can notice this is the truth table for the pn flip flop and also you can notice we can find the excitation table and also we have to convert this pn flip flop to d flip flop so this conversion also we have done how many how many of you understood this did you understand everything did you understand everything uh...